Okay, first step if you want to turn your minivan uh, into a very quick uh, camper van or bug out vehicle is I, I think this is a really great product, this camo cot from Disco Bed. So it's a double bunk and this actually will fit inside uh, my minivan. Now I did measurements before I even ordered this and that's something you want to do. You want to take a look you know, at the link, the Amazon link to this product, look at the dimensions and measure in your van to see if it'll fit. Okay, but in my Chrysler town and country it did, it just barely fit. Okay, and I did pick uh, the large size so that I would still be able to use one of the seats in the back, uh, have one of them usable. Uh, the extra large size, even though it's wider, more comfortable, I uh, would not be able to use that particular uh, seat, uh, although it would fit in there. So I'm going to set this up outside in the van and we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, and here it is, the setup. Okay, this is a uh, Chrysler Town & Country minivan with stow and go seating. So I've even able, been able to leave this seat up so that we can travel with three people, which is what we're going to do. We're going to be going to St. Augustine, Anastasia Park for a camping trip. So, the uh, reason I set it up is two reasons. Number one, when we get there, uh, we set up a large tent with the camper and put this in here as an extra place to hang out and lay down. And two, you can uh, use this while you travel. Somebody can lay down, especially in the bottom bunk here. Okay, the top bunk is usable if you're going to use this as a camper or bug out vehicle. My teenage son has gotten up there and he was fine. Your head should be on this end definitely, not on that end. And he was fine, uh, tried it out. So you could sleep comfortably two people uh, in here. Uh, you might even be able to figure out a way to get three if you put the seat down. Actually, I'm sure you could be cramped, but you know, that's what this would be. So this works uh, really well. You have lots of storage here because when you're traveling or if there's just one of you in here, you can actually use this top bunk for storage, which is what we're going to do traveling. I'm going to put fishing poles up here and some, some other miscellaneous stuff because it works real well right there. Um, I also have a lot of stuff underneath. Okay, I have chairs, several chairs. I got the uh, kayak paddles. Okay, there's an umbrella. And if we go to the back here, so we've got two, I still have room for two uh, inflatable kayaks, life vests, and paddles that are all back here, plus a couple other miscellaneous things. So I'm still able to do this, and it does still close. So it still closes. Yep. So there's still a lot of room in here uh, that you can pimp it out the way you want, the way you travel. You still have all these pockets here, which I'm going to use as we finish packing up. Plenty of room there for snacks, uh, miscellaneous items, clothes. There is room, although I'm not taking it this trip, I put it in here just as an example. Okay, I have this uh, Dometic uh, refrigerator that uses very, CF-18 uses very little uh, energy, and I've already experimented on this van with it. Works really well. Uh, if you have a good battery in the car, um, which I do, and I'll show you that battery in a minute. You can run this refrigerator uh, in combination with having one of those portable solar panels, which I showed in a previous video. You could camp out for a long time, dry camp in this thing uh, quite comfortably. And then it's just a matter of rigging uh, the windows. If you're going to actually camp out of this, which I'm not, but I usually could, I would just get some mosquito netting or screening materials, magnets, and I could cover up, uh, I could put them around certain windows to get ventilation in here at night without a problem. Let me show you the battery I'm using, which is also kind of important because that allows you to use uh, the cigarette lighter uh, power outlet that will run even when the ignition is off. So let me show you that battery I'm using because that's kind of important also. Okay, so in addition, I've added this Duracell uh, AGM battery, okay, three-year warranty, which is a no-maintenance battery, okay. So you can see the specs on it. Okay, right here. So this is basically a deep cycle battery that doubles as a starting battery. This gives me a lot more power. That refrigerator uh, has com controls on it where it'll actually switch off uh, if it's going to get below uh, starting capacity. And I've experimented with that and it works fine. Uh, you can run the refrigerator all day on a full charge, even turn it off at night and it still stays cool in there even when it's off. But if you're charging this battery using a portable uh, solar panel setup like I had, which I have room in here for that. 
uh, you can. You could stay out, use this uh, for a long time. Uh, just on one battery, uh, you could do pretty good. You know, adding a second battery, you connect, just sit it on the ground or something is another option. Again, the more things you add, the less room you have, of course. But I've got plenty more room in there, especially on the top bunk, uh, especially when I'm traveling. I'm going to be adding fishing poles and some equipment and some other stuff, miscellaneous. So uh, certainly should work. So let's go back to the main uh, compartment. Okay, so in conclusion, okay, again, I'm not, this isn't completely set up. I'm still preparing it for a trip, but it could be used in a wide variety of methods or models. If you want to see how the camo cod is put together, I'll put a link to a video on my other channel that I have where I put it together and talk a little bit more about the camo cot in detail. So there will be a link on the screen here you can click, uh, but if you're mobile, it, you won't see it, so I'll have a link in the description box as well and a link to uh, some of these products, the Amazon products here you're seeing if you want to check their prices and availability on Amazon. All right, so I hope this helps you out. Uh, just an idea. It's something I've been using, tinkering with, and it seems to work uh, pretty good. All right, so, oh, yeah, one other thing I want to point out. If you want more room in this, uh, one of the stow-and-go seats is down here underneath the fridge. You can remove that seat, and then you would have this large compartment. And same thing on the other side. You could have a... Uh, both of these stow and go seats removed and you have these compartments for extra storage if you wanted. And you could even uh, turn this seat around. There, are, All you have to do is remove it and turn it around and re-screw it back in. I've seen people do that on YouTube. And again, that's a configuration. You could have uh, this seat facing the other way. Uh, so there's a lot of options here for this type. So if you're going to do this on a minivan, just make sure you measure very uh, carefully before you get a product like this to see if it would work. There's other ways of doing this with minivans to make them a camper. This is the easiest, I think, as far as bedding goes. All right, so we'll see you later.